Hello, second grade. Mr. Harriman here with another fun Christmas activity. Today we're going to do a draw and write. That means all you need for today is a pencil and your December journal. And if you have markers or crayons or colored pencils, you can use those too. So what we're going to draw today is a bear. So when we're drawing, I want you to start thinking, what can I write about bears? Maybe you can write bear facts. What do you know about bears? What are bears doing right now? Maybe you can write a bear story. What is my bear gonna do? What's my bear's name? What adventures can my bear have? So as we're drawing, start thinking about what are you going to write about your bear? That's why it's called a draw and write. When you're drawing, one of the things that you need to do is you need to think about what shape is the animal that you're drawing. And when I think of bears, I don't know why, I think of a lot of circles. So we're basically, we're gonna be drawing a lot of circles to draw our bear, believe it or not. All right, so I'll be drawing it on the whiteboard back here. You can draw it in your draw and, write journal, draw and write journal right here. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start with a circle. Just like that. And I'm gonna get a better marker here. Then, guess what? We're gonna draw another circle. We're gonna start right here, right at the bottom of this circle and we're gonna draw a bigger one around that circle. And you can see it's not a perfect circle and that's okay. It's actually more of an oval. That's all right, it's my bear. If he wants to be an oval bear instead of a circle bear, that's all right. Now, inside the smaller circle, guess what we're gonna draw? Another circle. All right, let's do that. Right about in the lower middle part of that circle. Okay, Mr. Harriman, that doesn't look like a bear at all. What's going on? Don't worry, we're getting there. All right, that actually is his muzzle. You know, the, the part of the nose of the bear. In fact, let's draw the nose right now with another circle. Like that. Okay, now, if you're falling behind, just pause the video, make sure you got all your circles because now we're gonna stop drawing circle. Well, no, I guess we have a few more circles to go. So we're gonna draw the eyes. Remember, that's the muzzle, that's the nose. So we're gonna draw some eyes making two circles. Ready, here we go. Okay, starting to look a little bit like a bear now, isn't it? Yeah, now we're gonna draw the ears. The ears are also circles, but they're kind of chopped off. They're almost like just rainbows. Okay, so you can start to make a circle and then you're gonna stop. So of course the ears go right on the head. Right there. And we're gonna put one on the other side. Like that. Okay, so you can see the bear is starting to come along, huh? It's a bear from the front. I wonder if you thought it was gonna be a bear from the side. All right. Bears do not have very long legs. And we're not gonna get super fancy on our bear legs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw down and then come back up almost like the letter U, but a little bent, okay? So put your pencil right about there. Come down and then about like that almost like a ice cream cone, like a bent ice cream cone. And on the other side, the exact same thing, but kind of flipped. All 
like that. Now, right now, it looks like he's only got two legs. So we're gonna wanna draw those back legs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside right there and we're gonna draw, we're gonna kind of trace that same curve, just really much smaller. Like that, there's his back feet. Two last things, bears, especially grizzly bears. I don't know if this is a grizzly bear or a black bear or a brown bear, could even be a polar bear. It's your bear, you get to choose what kind of bear you have, which means you have to choose where your bear is gonna live. But my bear is one of the bears whose claws are out all the time. And bears kind of have that pigeon toed walk. Their, their feet kind of point in. See how he's got the claws kind of pointing in like that. Well, so there's our bear. The only thing left to do is you get to decide what kind of face does your bear have? Is he a happy bear? Like that? Maybe he's more of a, mm, mm, I want to hibernate, but I'm not sleepy. Like that. <laughs> uh, I think I like the happier bear better. I'm going to put the happy bear back. Or maybe you can just make it look like a, um, like actually a bear's muzzle kind of would look. Kind of like that. All right. So think about your bear. What adventures can your bear have? Maybe your bear's trying to hibernate. Maybe your bear's eating a bunch of nuts and berries, getting ready to hibernate. Maybe your bear's a polar bear stalking reindeer on the tundra. Okay. So think of a really good story, or you can just write, what do you know about bears? Remember, when you're writing your sentences, be sure to start them with a capital. Be sure to end them with punctuation and write about your bear in your December journal. I can't wait to read your writing. Draw your bear, write your bear, and then send it to your teacher. We love, we love seeing everything that you draw and write. Okay, have a great week, you guys, and I will see you next week.